All right, scholars, what are we talking about today? We are talking about energy. Yes, energy. That's what I'm talking about. And remember our acronym that we used for, our mnemonic that we used for energy was M-E-L-T-S. We said the mechanical move, electricity shocks. Light waves helps us see, but the thermal is hot. Sound is caused by vibration. Solar comes from the sun. It's the M-E-L-T-S, get some. And today we're going to get some thermal energy. What does that even really mean? There's many, 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 many different things that we interact with on a daily basis that produce or that use thermal energy. Now to produce is to make and to use is like we have a function for it. For example, my hot plate, it uses thermal energy to cook things. It uses thermal energy to heat things, but it also produces thermal energy. It takes the electrical energy from the wall outlet and it changes it or it transforms it into another usable energy that we call thermal or heat energy. Now at its core, what is heat energy? So there's particles. Particles are everywhere. Everything's made of, of particles. You're made, we're all made of particles. My Yeti is made everything. And these particles, they move at different speeds. And the faster they move, the more energy that they have. And if we get them moving at certain speeds, we, we, we get more of what we call heat or thermal energy. That means that everything, everything, Everything that has particles has thermal energy. Our heat energy is just, some of it is just so small. It's so small, it's microscopic in measurement. And then some of it like flames and fire and hot plates are at such a level that it's very, very, very easy to know that this is definitely producing thermal energy. And all kinds of things produce thermal energy. Have you ever seen something like this? Old school heaters that we used to use? And you put the heater out and what happens? We come next to it and we're just like, oh my God, that feels so good. What feels good? Well, this heater, just like the top of this hot plate, just like the, the, the it's producing thermal or heat energy. And then we can use that energy to keep warm. So energy has a lot of different uses. We use them everywhere. Think about whenever we get off in the shower, you have two knobs that you can turn. We can turn the hot water, and we can turn the cold water. When we turn the hot water, our hot water heater uses thermal energy to heat that water up so that we can have warm baths and warm showers. It is so awesome because if you've ever taken a cold shower or a cold bath, it's just not cool. It's just not cool. No, I don't want to do it. I don't like it. Stop. Thermal energy is important and it has so many daily uses from heaters to ovens to microwaves. There's a thing that you might not even know about called a toaster. When I was growing up, we used to toast bread and we would put peanut butter and jelly on it. And it was so good because we enjoy and love thermal energy. Matter of fact, during the winter time, thermal energy is so important to us. The sun's rays are not hitting us directly, so the temperatures outside begin to get cooler and cooler and cooler. And because of that, we need thermal energy in our buildings. So we have these things that are just like this little heater, but they're big heaters. And they push, they warm up the air and they push in thermal energy and they warm it up so that we can sit off in our classrooms and in our homes and we can still be warm. When I tell you thermal energy is important, I mean it. I can't live without it, especially if you're in Alaska or one of the really, really cold places in the world. Thermal energy is your best, 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 best of friend. Scholars, I hope that you've enjoyed this. What I want you to do today is I want you to look around, just be observant. And anytime that you start to feel thermal energy, I want you to try to find the object and say, is it using or is it producing thermal energy? Could be at home, could be in your classroom, could be as you are doing something outside. Thermal energy is everywhere. Thermal energy is important. And every single one of us uses thermal, which is a fancy word for heat energy. I hope you learned something today. You better learn something today because thermal energy is important. And if you didn't learn anything else, 
learn that it's important and believe me have an absolutely wonderful day scholars you are amazing one of you is going to create something one day that makes energy just affordable for everybody one of you is going to create a sustainable energy that reduces the amount of pollution in the world that's why you are so important because you scholars are going to take all of this scientific knowledge and you're going to use it to make the world a better place that is the hope. That is the dream. Have an absolutely wonderful day. And we'll be back on soon with more amazing science. <laughs> Have a good one, scholarship.